boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I have a story for y'all. And no, I'm not doing this because I'm excited. I'm doing it because I'm freezing. Look, I can see my smoke. You probably can't. I know it's a little dark in here. I just woke up. Uh, um, story is not only once, not only twice, but three times we have run out of propane. And it is freezing here. Literally, I'm pretty sure it got below 30 last night. Or maybe at least to 30. Um, I'm home alone right now. Kate's in Houston doing some school stuff. Um, and I ran out of propane last night. As you may know, here in Texas we've had a few ice days, so I've had the heater going pretty much non-stop uh, to stay warm. And, um, I've never switched out the propane. I know how to, we have two tanks uh, for heat, and um, I know how to adjust it on the top to make sure one's open and one's closed or whatever, but other than that, I don't know how to do anything. I'm kind of nervous to see what our, our water line looks like. I didn't even think about turning it off last night. Usually we do when it's freezing. I know those tanks are heavy. I'm going to ask Pop-Pop to help. We're over here in Pipe Creek at his house, uh, his property, his house is right next door, so I'm sure he'll be able to help me and coach me through it, so let's get moving. Let me show you what I know. I know how to open and close it. Open. They're both open. I'm out of propane. Oh, sunshine. We just bought a new one of these because the other one froze and busted. Oh, that one's icy. I'm scared about this one. Oh, no. It's frozen. I don't know what to do. I'm not touching anything. I need help. I'll go get my grandpa. So step one, uh, disassemble, step two, remove, step three, go and fill. I got this, I got this. Let me set you up so you can watch this. Okay, um, Urgh. pull that giant lid off. Okay. big day ahead of me. I love you too. Bye. Done. Now I just need to go fill up at Tractor Supply or see if there's somewhere in Bandera. So, tip was make sure that the bottles are secure sitting up so I'm not driving around and they're rolling around or open the door and they fall out and boom, bam. Whoosh. Don't want that. Saturday or Sunday? 
Um, I'm not sure yet. We don't have any plans, so. I've got a chili recipe I'm dying to try, but I don't want to make it by myself. Oh, chili sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. Let's just plan for Friday. Okay. That worked out last week. That'll work. Okay. Okay. Now, this is, <laughs> this is not what you call typical chili. I mean, it's chili, but it's called Cincinnati chili, and you serve it over pasta, of all things. Ooh, so. even better. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, come on, docs. Let's go inside. Okay, back home, finishing up my chores. Propane is done, and I need to fill up the fresh water tank in our camper so I can unplug the water hose and then cover the spout, spigot, faucet area that's connected to our grandpa's house so that doesn't freeze so we don't have bigger problems. it's full there's like an overflow thing that just starts spitting out water so you do it that way <laughs> or you can monitor your water by this fresh water so we were empty unfortunately all the other ones are broken broke 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 so uh these aren't these work fine so i'll use the water pump switch uh, when I'm not hooked up to the water hose to get pressure in the water so I can take a shower, do the dishes, and things like that. So my grandpa and my dad mentioned that there's these stickers that you could put on the side of the propane and it kind of helps you measure how much is in there. We need something because like I said this is the third time it's happened and not cool. Not fun either. Thank <laughs> you.